But tonight we're here to celebrate uh, the history of our sport. And cool thing about history, and for most of you, I think you'd agree with this, you don't know you're making history while you're making history. We genuinely get to celebrate the heroes of our sport. We get to celebrate their accomplishments. We do this so that throughout the ages, your accomplishments and your recognition should never be forgotten. So tonight, your accomplishments will be recognized and written into the stone of BMX history, and I am very excited about it. I am proud to introduce the 2017 class who will be enshrined for all time in the National BMX Hall of Fame. Man, San Diego has had so many great riders from the King Brothers and the Hudson Brothers and many great tracks, but we also had freestyle riders from here, and it's exciting uh, to talk about uh, Dave Volker. I, I love this part of, of the ceremony here, and this is, this is one of the good guys. I got, I got to meet him and his family out front, and BMX is so special that we are a family right here, but when you bring your family, and man, it, it is such a great honor to present to Dave Volker and his family, and I know who have supported him greatly, and I have as well as a fan. So we are ready to roll the video for Dave Volker. All right, here we go. Known as The Lord, Dave Volker grew up riding in San Diego's thriving freestyle scene of the 1980s. On the thriving contest scene, Lord Volker has always been known for going big, earning him the 1987 AFA Masters 19 and over Vert Championships, and both a silver and bronze X Games medal 10 years later. With an impeccable reputation as the world's greatest show rider, Volker was originally schooled by the master showman himself, Brian Skura. Over the past 30 years, Lord Volker has performed at over 5,000 freestyle shows at schools, state and county fairs, and even NBA and NFL halftime shows, and still puts on quite a show to this day. Whether at a contest, show, photo shoot, or practice session, Dave has never just ridden up to an obstacle. He attacks it like a rabid dog, going bigger and burlier than anyone else. From his patented foot plants on a vert ramp, to his trademark look downs, to his invention of the tail whip nose pit, there is good reason he's called the Lord Almighty. Having adorned the covers of every major BMX magazine, as well as catalog covers for Dino and GT, Volker has always been one of the most photogenic riders in our sport. His legacy in the freestyle scene has always been go big or go home. And the Lord never went home. Get on your feet and let him hear it. The louder you are, the better his speech will be. Introducing your 2017 freestyle inductee into the BMX Hall of Fame. Our dear Lord, Dave Volker. Say I'm nervous uh, is an under, understatement. I feel like I'm at the X Games right now. Oh my goodness. Where do I start? First, I'm gonna thank the USA BMX for having freestyle as part of their uh, induction. It's, it's so cool to be here with everybody and they do such a great job. Give it up for USA BMX. Awesome, awesome job, awesome job. I'm gonna start in the 70s because uh, Things started real quick for me. I remember as a kid, of course, Evil Kin Evil was my hero. So, uh, you know, I, I wanted to be like him right away. I felt it. I was like, man, I got to do something cool. So there was a wall across the street, and I went over there, and I jumped off of it. And that was on a big wheel. It really was. Like, I remember that moment. It was like the adrenaline was going, and I was, that was me. That's what I wanted to do. So uh, as I was getting older, you know, I get my first bike, I learned how to ride it, and uh, I ended up learning my first trick, which was the skid, and I was good at it. I did them long. I could do like 12 of the squares on the sidewalk. It was a long skid. But unfortunately, my bike didn't have inner tubes, and it got flat spots every time I did it. So a week later, that bike was done. I was chipping teeth riding down the street. So uh, 
I went from that to the boards and bricks, and I was jumping really far on those. And we started putting it right in front of the curb, and we had jumped to see how far we could move them back from the curb. And the kids were measuring it. The older kids were really good at provoking me on doing this kind of stuff. So they had get me going further and further until I blow my wheel up. So uh, after that, my dad made me some ramps. And uh, rest in peace, Dad. He did a really... <sighs> he did, huh? He built me these big green ramps, and uh, they were pretty popular. People knew about them in uh, the East County. They would come over and ride. But the older kids, kids once again, they start testing me. They want me to make it further and further. They got measuring tapes. They're, it, it was getting really big and dangerous. And all of a sudden, my mom comes running out. And she's all, stop, stop. You're going to kill them. It was awesome. I was jumping big at a very young age. So uh, that's what I, I, I wanted to thank my mom for all the years of uh, picking me up, taking me to the hospital, and always supporting me over the years. Mom, I love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I wanted to thank my uh, sisters, Sherry and Beth. Uh, I, I was out on the road all the time, like all the time, and uh, they were always there to support me with raising my children, helping out whenever I needed it. I love you. Thank you, Sherry and Beth. Um, Katie and Cole, wow. My two children, I have a 17 and an 18-year-old, and. Uh, they are turning out so awesome. They've been through so much, and uh, I love you guys to death. They're awesome. My wife, Erica, we just had a brand new baby boy, Asher, and uh, I know how old he is. My two-year-old son, Vander, I, I'm so shaken right now. It's awesome. So, uh, Erica, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, I, I'm going to get into this whole uh, how Freestyle started for me. This is a pretty cool way it started. I was a wheelie king of the world, but my world was Corita Court up to Bellagio. It wasn't a very big world, but I was a wheelie king, and uh, I was jumping really far at this time. It was eighth grade summer, and this kid moved into the street, uh, into the neighborhood of the street up around the corner, and he uh, was able to do a trick. And the trick was called a rock walk. And, uh, I had to learn it. Like, this guy was better than me. He could ride long wheelies and do the rock walk. So him and I started doing tricks together, and that's how it all started. Like, we were rolling down the street backwards, see who could get further, and then we got really good at it. And then we'd go down to the roller rink and show off our new tricks. And that's where showing off really got going for me. I was, yeah, I was addicted. I wanted to make people smile, you know? And uh, it worked out pretty good. <laughs> Um, Valley Bikes was my sponsor at the, at a early age, and uh, Sandy over there, she uh, was good friends with Byron Friday at SE, and uh, they decided to force me to go to a contest, and I was in my little shell. I didn't want to go to a contest or whatever, so um, they talked talk me into going. Byron gave me the bike, gave me a bike, he gave me uh, leathers, he gave me a jersey, that actually were Toby Henderson's with the letters peeled off so you can still read it. But they set me up and uh, I went to the contest. I did good and that's how my career started. I uh, got recognized. I was working at a metal shop at the time and uh, this, I get a strange phone call and uh, it ended up being Brian Skura. Good old Brian Skura called me up and uh, he came down, brought some ramps, tried me out. And then he uh, ended up having me do some shows up, I believe, the uh, Orange County Fair. And uh, I was doing some crazy things with Brian. Brian had me wearing George Jet Jetson master and shows coming out behind the ramp, you know, meet George Jetson. <laughs> and then uh, he, he was the best teacher, though. He, he knew I loved to make a crowd smile. And then he... Uh, taught me how to do it like in in life how to make people smile for an example we were in a mcdonald's and he couldn't decide what to order he was sitting there making a pretty big scene about it i don't know what to do he's all, i know what to do i'll flip for it so he just stands there and does a backflip right there in mcdonald's like that's the kind of guy he was but he got me out of my shell and taught me how to entertain people and uh thank you very much brian i appreciate that <laughs> Um, oh, man, this part. 
I got a couple tour friends to thank. Um, <laughs> 27 years on the road, man. I have, I, had a, I have a lot of friends, definitely. I'm gonna start off with my two best friends. I got Brian Blyther and Mike Perenni, man. I love you guys. Dave Norrie came down from Oregon today. I love you, Dave. Thank you, thank you. I really gotta thank this guy, it's Gabe Weed. We'd be on tour, I toured with him for so many years and he was kind of the tour mom. He had the uh, chocolate covered espresso, espresso beans. Like he was always that guy that supplied things, took care of things. Thank you, Gabe Weed, love you. Uh, Rob Nolly, toured with him for years. Robert Castillo, man, me and him and I, would, we've been touring, uh, whew teammates for years and years and years. And then uh, he started his own company, the BMX Freestyle Team. I started doing shows for him doing that. If you ever need a show, Robert's the one. BMX Freestyle Team. Thank you, Robert. Um, sponsors, Matt Hoffman, man. He, he supplied bikes for me. Um, he, uh, he was a hero for one thing. I mean, literally a hero to me. And I don't have many heroes in life. That guy is a true hero. Um, supplying bikes and then actually when uh i wasn't with gt bicycles anymore after 15 years um matt ended up having me do shows with him out at universal orlando and i ended up doing shows there for six years i met my beautiful wife there and uh yeah thank you matt hoffman very cool um gary laurent also thank you gary drove out from vegas to be here and race of course but Gary's a great guy, and uh, he supplied a lot of shows for me over the years. I even got a cruise ship job from him. It was really cool working on a cruise ship. Uh, let's see. I have John Pova from Etnies, a great guy and true friend. Um, Mark Skirto from Oakley, man. He was, he's, he's a really good friend, and we're both trying to see who could be older still making babies. <laughs> Xavier Mendez, the old school BMX team manager. Thank you, X-Man, I love you. John Bulgeens, I don't know how to say it properly, John. I'm sorry, buddy. But thank you, John. And uh, I wanted to thank, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen Joyce out here signing, but uh, I wanted to thank Joyce for signing for my good buddy, Gary Clark. Gary's been around for years. If, you, if you're a writer from San Diego, you've ridden with Gary somewhere down the line. Gary's a great guy. So I'm pretty much uh, done, except for I have to share my, uh, my final two biggest compliments. And it, it, I, these things changed my life. I was uh, not sponsored yet. I was down at the Santee Lakes bass fishing, Lake 2, right under the bridge, but the bridge didn't exist yet. But there were trees, and on the other side of the trees, there were these jumps. And I'll never forget this. I'm fishing by myself, and all of a sudden, I hear the kids talking, and they're like, look, I'm Dave Volker, one-footed tabletop. And I was like, my heart started pounding, and it was just such a great feeling. I just, I wish I knew who those kids were, man, because that, that was really cool. That was... And then I, a lot of you are going to know this place. It was uh, Bercy Stadium, 1987. I went there, the huge BMX race, and we got to do the halftime for you guys. And it was amazing how many people were in this stadium. So we do our halftime, a little show, Rick Mullen Turner and I. And uh, as I'm doing the show, you know, it's all spotlights and everything. I do this Volker fly out thing where I jump out of the ramp and I act like I'm crashing, flailing my arms and I land on top and I raise my arm and all of a sudden the crowd just went <sighs> and it was like a rock star is going on. What? And I got so like scared I had to get down off the ramp. But that was that that was kind of my feeling of I did it. I did it. I'm making people smile. I love it. I just want to thank you guys for uh, making me smile. Good night.